Hello everyone, today I'm going to be doing this very intense and dramatic red and bronze eye and sort of an evil genie inspired look. I'll talk about my <laughs> I'll talk about my inspiration later, but this is going to be on my beautiful friend Dima who I've worked with so many times. She's actually one of the first people that um, I took photos of and I did her makeup and that was back when I was in college. So let's get into it. Dima's skin has already been cleansed and moisturized and prepped. So we're just going to go in with primer and this is the Tom Ford Illuminating Primer. I'm just going to smooth that all over the skin. I'm starting off with eyes first because I'm predicting fallout with such dramatic looks, regardless of what eyeshadow palette I'm using. So I want a very clean base. And for an eye base, I'm going to take the MAC Paint Pot and lay in low and just putting that all over the lids to provide a sticky base. For eyeshadows, I'm going to be trying for the first time the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Blood Sugar Palette. This palette is insane. The, I've been wanting it for a long time actually because the colors are beautiful and I don't really have anything like this in my collection. So I'm going to be mainly focusing on the red shades, obviously, and a bit of the bronze. The first color I'm using is the color Cherry Soda, which is actually my favorite soft drink ever. <laughs> and I'm putting that on the outer crease and packing it, and I'm going to be blending it later. To sort of diffuse the edges just a bit, I'm going to be taking the color Tongue Pop and putting that around the edges. Just so that when I come to blend it, it's a bit more of a seamless blend. I mean, with such intense looks, you really have to keep blending back and forth. Um, you have to blend even with a clean blending brush so that it diffuses the color. So that's what I'm going to be doing back and forth. For the lower lash line, I'm going to take the color Blood Sugar, which is sort of the same as Cherry Soda, but a metallic version. Then for the center of the lid, I'm going to be taking the color donor, which is sort of a coppery, like a coppery bronze. And I'm placing that all over the lid. It was a bit too light for what I envisioned. So I'm going to go in with another palette for a more richer chocolate bronze. And this is from the Urban Decay Beached Eyeshadow Palette. So the first color I'm going in is the color wedge. And I'm packing that on top of the coppery shade that I put just to deepen it up a bit. And to make the center pop, I'm taking the shade 16th Street and putting a bit of Fix Plus on my brush and packing that on the center of the lid. Then going back into my Blood Sugar palette, I'm going to be taking the shades Cherry Soda and the Darker Brown, which is Intravenous. And I'm going to be darkening the crease in with these two colors. And going in with a smaller tapered brush, I'm going to be putting that very detailed in the crease just to deepen it up. And when I'm done, I'm going to be wiping under the eyes. In the waterline, I'm taking this 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil from Urban Decay in the color Lucky. And then to create a soft brown wing, I'm taking my NARS Mambo Eyeliner Pencil as usual. <laughs> For foundation, I'm going in with the Dior Face and Body Foundation in the color 3W. And I'm going to be buffing that into the skin with a Sigma Flat Kabuki F80 brush. By the way, I try to write down all the brushes in the tutorial. So if I don't verbally say what brush I'm using, it should hopefully pop up on screen. So basically this look is inspired by um, Aladdin and there's like a red scene in the movie where Princess Jasmine is like held hostage and she's like kind of evil. <laughs> it's so random, but I'll try to pop in a picture. Actually, I don't know if I can do that for a copyright, but look it up. It's like the evil um, when Jafar becomes a genie. So it's like, it's like an evil genie thing. Um, we forgot to record the contouring part, so excuse that, but I used the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Contour Wand in the shade Medium Dark, and I'm just going to buff it in with the same foundation brush that I used. For concealer, I'm taking my favorite right now. This is a Soft Matte Concealer from NARS, and I'm using the shade Ginger. And I find that this concealer works best with a sort of dense brush. It doesn't really work that great with a beauty blender or anything else. So kind of use a fluffy, dense brush and pack it into the skin and blend it. And I've talked to more than one person who loves this concealer and they say the exact same thing, that it works best with a fluffy brush, a fluffy, dense brush. <laughs> so I'm just going to use it to brighten her skin because we are doing such a heavy look. I want that really nice, bright under eye. I mean, we figured at this point, this isn't one of my usual like natural tutorials. This is a bit more intense. <laughs> For 
For highlighter, I'm taking the Benefit Sunbeam. I'm not, I didn't really list this on Instagram because it didn't work well with the foundation. It kind of just really stuck on, kind of just grabbed onto spots. So I'm fixing it with the Makeup Forever HD Cream Blush and setting everything with my Huda Beauty Easy Bake in the shade Banana Powder. And as you can see, that thin layer of powder really makes everything look so even and bright. And tapping whatever is left on my Beauty Blender all over the skin. For bronzer, I'm taking the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in the color Give Me Sun all over the high points of the face. And just bronzing and using that as blush as well. For highlighter, I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury Bar of Gold palette and I'm kind of dipping into all the shades. and hitting the high points of the face. So cheekbones, top of the nose, cupid's bow, chin. For brows, I'm not really gonna fill them in. I'm just gonna use clear brow gel. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Legendary Brows in the color clear. For lips, I'm going in with the MAC Cosmetics Lip Pencil in the shade Oak and lining her lips. This time, I'm not filling them in because I want that um, lip liner look, kind of, if that makes sense. <laughs> And for lipstick, I'm taking the Charlotte Tilbury lipstick in the shade Hepburn Honey, which is a very warm nude to really complement the red eyeshadow and the bronze. And I'm just going to apply that all over the lips and blend it in with a lip brush into the lip pencil and then blot it down. To finish off her face, I'm using the MAC Fix Plus in the shade Gold Light. And that has gold shimmer particles in it that photograph beautifully. And that completes the look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this more dramatic, colorful makeup. And let me know in the comments if you'd like to see more of these kind of looks. Um, of course, I'm going to still be doing my natural ones. So yeah, don't forget to comment and subscribe. That really helps me out a lot. It helps my channel grow so I can create more videos for you guys. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.